Kathy. I'm Jacob. Well, first of all, I see the sign out there, so thank you for your support, especially after the teacher walkout. It's become such a huge issue out here. I was just wondering your point of view on that. I'm totally for the teachers. My mother taught for 35 years, so I know firsthand how much they don't get paid and how much work they do. Yeah, what are we doing? We're not even providing the basics for our students. And why are we not providing for our teachers everything they need? I mean, right when I became a teacher, I decided to run for office. It was that bad. Well, I'm actually a Republican, but I don't mind crossing the line at all. It's for the person and what they're for. You have a great Good day. It's you. great to see you again, and thank you for your support November 6th. Yes. I'm Jacob Rosecrans. I'm running for re-election of House District 46, which is Norman and Noble, Oklahoma. Taught at Roosevelt Middle School in Oklahoma City Public Schools. 650 kids were supposed to be in that school. We were close to 1,000. We were cleaning out closets for some of our special needs kids. It was really bad, and I was like, what in the world are we doing with our schools here? This idea of corporate reform, corporations coming in and saying, run your classroom like a corporation, which is what we've seen across the nation now. And we have pre-test, post-test, pre-test, post-test, pre-test, post-test, and then a state test. I fought back, and I got called into the principal's office so much more than my own kids. Our elected leaders at the time, 2012, around there, didn't care about teachers at all. That's when I decided to run for office. The guy that ran against me was backed by Betsy DeVos's group, American Federation for Children, because they knew that I was that pro-public education, and they were pushing vouchers and for-profit charter expansion. So it became extremely personal for me. I would go out right after I taught for seven hours and knock 100 doors just to make sure that he wouldn't become my state rep and was successful. Middle school teacher Jacob Rosecrans won in Norman's District 46, a Republican seat since 1995. Our teachers were angry about the underfunding for our schools, the supplies that we don't have, the kids can't get the programs they need, the arts were cut, and, you know, things like that. While we're trying to push bills, you're still seeing this volcano of anger and frustration starting to build. April 2nd, boom, it explodes. The teacher walkout happens. We've got bands, we've got drum lines, teachers from all over the place. It was amazing. The former legislators were joining us, Randy Weingarten, and we like, were high-fiving each other. We marched together. People along the side of the streets, too, cheering us on, cheering us on. We get up there, and it's just like this army of people. I'll never forget that first day. And that anger was manifested with this hashtag, remember in November, and it's already been happening. All these legislators who voted against these teacher pay raises, they're gone. Last time I checked, there's like 70 some odd teachers on the ballot still statewide. No matter how you cut it, we're gonna have more teachers at the state capitol, which I think is the success of the walkout. I think there's gonna be a massive change in Oklahoma. I was always going to fight for my teachers in my public schools, no matter what. That was my mandate. I got elected for that. I literally did this to try to get a teacher into office. We need you for November 6th. 